Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're just here to take a look at the first PvP season of the 5th anniversary and basically take a look at all the rewards players can expect to get if they partake in rated PvP during the course of the 5th annie. So this is the Ultra Thanks Duel Season 1 and it will run until the 14th of June and features 555 Chrono Crystals and 100 Legends Limited Z Power. You also have a chance of obtaining 5th Anniversary Medals from partaking in Rated PvP with the rewards channeling up to 3 times per day. There's also a new equip and alongside that of course there are some additional items and titles that you can obtain depending on where you rank. Now the Chrono Crystals, 300 of them is actually honestly ranked um, is locked behind getting to rank 70 so it's actually quite challenging to get all the chrono crystals to be entirely honest with you but the fifth year anniversary medals and the legends limited z power are pretty achievable so if you take a look at the missions well when i say achievable i mean for like dedicated players it's very achievable all of this but for casual players it's probably a bit easier to just get the legends limited power so in terms of the missions, they're very simple. To get the Legends of Mr. Power, you have to play 30 rated matches, which some people do in a single day. And to get the Chrono Crystals, you have to do all of that alongside also getting yourself, uh, getting yourself to rank 70, which is the highest rank you can obtain before entering the top tier of Legends PvP. So pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, obviously beyond that there are no additional coin rewards that you can obtain uh, they all drop from missions so there's no dual coins or anything like that they all drop from missions and all you have to do is play the rated bvp now you do get fifth year anniversary medals and these medals will drop from just playing the match they will only drop three times per day so there's not really too much else to focus on it's all fairly straightforward now if you're someone who's never tried rated pvp it's definitely a good time and a good opportunity to get involved uh, there's plenty of great rewards just from participating you don't even have to win a lot uh, and you can get your hands on some really good prizes uh, which i think will help your account so if you've ever been too scared to get into rated pvp or you're a new player don't be too alarmed it's definitely a good time to get involved you will just earn yourself some pretty decent rewards and you'll get yourself at least some decent progress on your account whilst also getting double RP, win bonus for the day, and just in general having a very, very nice easing into the ranked PvP scene. So um, we'll just play our match here. I'm going to skip the match because you don't need to see the match um, and our opponent will forfeit which you know, happens when you face Beast Gohan because I'm a, I'm a scrub and I use Beast Gohan. But yeah, basically super duper simple. You're very, very straightforward. You'll, when you finish your match, you will get a little screen that pops up that will alert you uh, as to the limited reward. And then you can see you've earned daily rewards. You have two left for the day and you can grab them from just participating. You don't have to win. You will get them from participating. And that's that. That is the entire process. Actually super simple and easy. And yeah, tons of great rewards. So honestly guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I do kind of urge you to really partake in PvP. There's a lot of great opportunities if you look at the missions to earn great rewards without having to you know, really push at being good at PvP. The 300 Chrono Crystals locked behind rank 60 and 70, it seems like a lot, but it's not really that much. And honestly, it's not the biggest deal. But that's going to be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.